Hi guys, it's Dawn. It's good to see you guys today. Um, I've been very busy wrapping presents because, um, <coughs> excuse me, most of our family is in South Carolina and we're not traveling this year, but, um, his parents are going down to South Carolina, so, and they're staying down for a couple of months. So, we needed to get everything wrapped and um, bagged and ready to go. And they're leaving tomorrow. So, I just, that's what I've been doing all week. I've been wrapping and bagging gifts to get ready to go to South Carolina. Um, <clears throat> I did receive my sacred Isian box on, I think it was Friday. And, um... I was so busy with the gifts, I am just now getting around to unboxing my Sacred Isian box. So, I wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, let's see, I'm going to move my cup. Okay, and I'm going to tilt this down. There we go. So, I've already cut it. I don't know if I'm going to need my knife again, though, so I'm just going to get it out. <clears throat> Better to be safe than sorry. There we go. My candle snuffers. Okay. Uh, you'll see me using these kinds of candles all the time, and I'll wash these out and use the the candle holders to hold pencils and pens and my snuffers, feathers, uh, different things that I um, need on my desk that I pull from all the time. So that is a good idea for, you know, holding stuff, even skewers I have in one. So, um, okay, here we are. Let's open it up. Ow, okay. Take this out. And as you know, it's the Sacred Apprentice box from Sacred Isium. This is the smallest box, and I think it's like $25. Okay, and we have brown paper this time. And we have our card. And it is a beautiful card. It says, Energy. Life force is flowing. Open yourself to receive the power from within. That's gorgeous. Let's see. I'm trying to do it without you getting so much of the glare, but there we go. Okay. I love that card. And let's see. Oh, and we have their business card. We always get a business card. And then we have a little piece of paper. And this is a piece of paper that they said they were going to start putting in to explain the papers that they use. So, brown, the properties are grounding, stability, calmness, relaxation, relieve worry, finance, and concentration. Uh, Zodiac is Vir Virgo, and Planetary is Mercury. So there's this little piece of paper. And then we have our letter. Yes. And it is a very long letter. But um, our... Um, the theme is stress, anxiety, and worry. 
Okay, so it says, Mary, we meet. We gather this month of November for many, for many starting to embrace the cold breath of the coming winter. As winter approaches, we want to enter with a sense of calmness and relaxation. Winter is the resting period for nature or animals, and even though we stay busy with the hustle of our lives, it is also a resting period for us as well. Even if you're not able to rest or wind down for the winter physically, you can allow yourself rest and peace for your spirit, emotional, and mental self. The importance of releasing stress, worries, and anxiety is not only a benefit to your physical body, immune system, and health, but also plays a large factor on your spell casting and manifestation. It would be difficult to manifest financial gain while stressed and worried about money. The same goes for casting a spell for health and healing. While underlying stresses or worries about health and sickness are present, Whatever the situation is, whatever the stress or worries, your future is built on the present vibrational frequencies, not on those of yesterday. What that means is that, yes, you may have reasons and situations that can bring stress and worry into your life, but they do not have control of, over your life. It may seem like they do at the moment, but it may seem like you are turning a blind eye to the matter and may feel like that is not going to make it go away. I'm here to say, well, yes and no. Worry about debt. You vibrate the frequency of debt. Stay in the vibrational frequency of debt. Success at a higher vibration and you will never align with the vibration of success and the vibration of debt. If you are worried about getting sick or you are currently sick or suffering from long-term disease or illness, the same goes. You can't find health, healing, recovery while you're focused on the latter. When it comes to casting or manifesting, you need to see and feel yourself as already wealthy. Be grateful for your health and well-being. Your current situation is a reflection of the past. Your actions and how you feel today should be a reflection of the future. Simply put, most practice the saying, I will believe it when I see it. This is backwards and will keep you in a cyclone of negativity as you are creating your future based on your past manifestations. Fortunately, it's an easy fix. A flip of perspective to get back in alignment with what you want. The correct form of saying is, I see it when I believe it. As witches, we have the additional benefit of a magical helping hand. It can sometimes be difficult to let go, forget about, or not think about the current reality that was created in our past, keeping us in a loop of worry. This month, we will let go of our stress, anxiety, and worry. We will set them free from our mind, emotions, and spirit using sympathetic magic. Sympathetic magic has been practiced by witches for centuries and can be found in many cultures throughout history. With sympathetic magic, we use objects or take actions to represent ourselves, others, or situations and perform the magic on these items to create an effect. Sympathetic magic can be used by any witch and it's an easy practice to learn and can transition into many purposes such as not magic, poppet magic, voodoo, and more. May you be blessed this November as we progress into the winter. May, we be, may you be free from that which burdens you and drops your vibrations to a low frequency. May you, let's see, may you be, may you grow to new heights as a strong, powerful witch and as compatible of losing, and as capable of losing focus to that which does not serve you. Maintain your vision on what it is you want. With every stress and every worry, catch yourself in the moment and stop. Now, rewrite the opposite story. The story that has focus on what you want, not what you are expecting. You will see in such a short time, your emotions will become balanced. Your mental thoughts will be more positive. Your energy levels will increase. You will vibrate at a higher frequency. Your spells and magic will be stronger and work faster, and your manifestations will be more prominent and accurate to the tune of your spirit song. 
Blessed be in all that you do and all that you are. You're an amazing and powerful witch. Don't let stress and worries hold you down. Be all that you are. Blessed be with love and light. Brooks Brown from Sacred Isium. Worry never robs tomorrow of its sorrow. He only saps today of its joy. I cannot pronounce the name that that quote is by, but it's Leo F. and B-U-S-C-A-G-L-I-A. -A. Um, and the box was late, but they're apologizing for it. They told us um, what happened and what caused it, and it was the hurricane. It was awful for them. They were out of power for four days. Um, so they have a really hard time getting the boxes out. And that's okay, you know, we all go through things like that. Okay. Yes, I don't, I don't want to read this yet, but it says November Sacred Apprentice Box. I think this is the month that they separated the, uh, boxes, um, I believe that they started that this month, and every tier has a different um, subject. Sorry. I don't want to start coughing. My mouth is getting very dry. Okay. So, let's see what we have. Okay, we have this. And it says, Worry Dolls. Interesting looking. It says, the Guatemalan Indians teach their children an old story. When you have worries, you tell them to your dolls. At bedtime, children are told to take one doll from the box for each worry and share their worry with that doll. Overnight, the doll will solve their worries. Remember, since there are only six dolls per box, you're, you are only allowed six worries per day. Very interesting. Okay. So we have little worry dolls. Again, that's interesting. I've never seen anything like that, so it's pretty cool. Okay, and we have... Uh... I don't know what it is, so let's let's see. Ooh. Oh no, it fell. I didn't bring my glasses again. Worries be gone. Okay, I think this is a spell. Yes, it tells you the items that you need. Hmm. Tells you the items that you need, and then it goes on to tell you the spell. And it is a beautiful page. Um, it's the Book of Shadows page, I'm guessing. Very beautiful. I can't get it to stay open. I'm very sorry. Very beautiful. Okay. So there's that. Okay. And we have linden flower, which is interesting because I just got linden herb. Okay. Linden flower has been used in magic for protection from lightning assist. Your, to assist spell work involving purification, protection, calmness, releasing anxiety, peace, and love. Using teas, baths, candles, dressing candles, burn, poppets, sachet bags, and charm oils. I'm curious. I want to see if it has a scent. It does have a scent. It's very earthy. 
very nice. Okay. And it, this bag is like stuff full, guys. So it's a good bit of this linden flower. Let's see, we got linden herb from, I believe, the Witch's Moon this month. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so we have, can't read the end of it, hang on. I'll take it out. Um, I'm not sure what's in there with it. Kind of looks like cinnamon, but I'm not sure. Peace of mind oil. Oh, uh, and we have some chamomile, and I see chamomile and a little bit of lavender. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see the chamomile and lavender. I think it's chamomile and lavender. I'm not sure. I know for sure it's lavender, but I'm not for sure about the flower. I not sure about the flower. Hang on. Let's sniff it. Okay, I can't smell through that. Um, interestingly, I think it kind of smells like summer. It's a very light scent. Kind of reminds me of cut grass. So that's interesting. Peace of mind oil. And I will probably be using this because I am a worry wart. In case you guys haven't picked that up for me, I am. I worry a lot. Oh, let's put it back in the bag. Um, Sacred Isium, or Brooks has told me this is for protection. So, when I get oils from Sacred Isium, I keep it in the bag with the protection herb. Because everybody can use a little protection, right? Um, and I think um, it's to protect the oils from outside influences as it's going through the mail and stuff. Okay. I have some incense. Oh, it's cedar wood. Cedar is great for protection. Cedar wood incense possesses a rich, earthy fragrance. Cedar wood is fantastic for burning in your home whenever you're seeking to create a relaxed, balanced feeling. On the altar and in magic it is great for healing, purification, relieving stress, getting rid of worries, unhexing, and earth based spells. Handcrafted charcoal-based incense burn time 30 minutes. So I'm going to take a quick sniff because I do not have an incense burning. And I would think I would like to light one up. Okay, I'm not really getting a smell off of it. Hang on. Usually... smell it at all really usually their incense are very fragrant um, and cedar wood cedar wood is normally very fragrant also so I'm not sure why I can't smell it Am I a little tight for that? Okay, let me light this up.
Okay, so. As it burns, it smells more like cedar wood. That makes sense, I guess. All right, so there we go with the incense. And I totally need a relaxing incense, so, you know. Oh, okay, so this is our candle this month, and it's brown. Okay. I'm going to set this stuff to the side so I have some room to work up here. We have one thing left in here. Oh, okay. All right. Um, this is rudulated quartz. I have several of these. So oh, here we go. I love that it has the gold striping in it. It's very pretty. Uh, my other pieces are much larger than this. But this would be good to use in a charm bag. And I love the little bag it came in. Those are so cute. Okay, so that's all we had in this box. So, I'm going to fold the paper down and try to set things up so it can be seen as I read. Okay, and this is our little scroll, which is a Book of Shadows page and a spell. Okay, here are our little worry dolls, which are super cute. Our linden leaf, our little rudolet quartz, our cedar incense, our candle. Our letter. I'm not going to put that back in there. And I will put our little color um, correspondence page. And our oracle card. Okay, there we go. I hope you can see that real well because I don't have my glasses and I can't tell if you can or not. So the theme is, okay, the magic within the box, the oracle card. This month's card is drawn from Magical Times Empowerment Cards by Jody Bergsma, B-E-R-G-S-M-A. This card has come your way, guided by universal guidance when chosen for you. Make the message, may the message be received with blessings and intuitive knowledge on how to incorporate it into your life. Meditate on the message for clarity. Worries Be Gone Candle Spell. This handcrafted candle is magically char uh, candle, I'm sorry, spell candle. This handcrafted candle is magically charged with the intent to bring peace of mind and relaxation. The spell candle will aid in ridding you of worries, stresses, and giving you a reboot, a reboot. A reset button to aid in a fresh start, making it easier to manage your worries daily going forward. If you cannot burn continuously, do not blow the candle out, snuff it out. Do not burn unattended, we know this. Candles dressed with herbs are at higher risk for fire. Um, and that one is not just with herbs. Linden flowers. Linden flowers have been used in magic for protection from lightning, assisting your spell work, involving purification, protection, calmness, release, anxiety, peace, and love. 
Linden flour can be used in tea, baths, candle dressings. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing that was on the um, on the herb itself. Okay. Cedar wood incense. Cedar wood incense possess a rich earthly fragrance. Cedar wood is fantastic for burning in your home whenever you're seeking to create a relaxed, balanced feeling. On the altar in magic it is great for healing, purification, relieving stress, getting rid of worries, unhexing, unearth based spells, and earth based spells. Handcrafted charcoal based incense. Burn time 30 minutes. Rutilated Quartz with Bag. Rutilated Quartz is an illuminator of the soul that will assist with spiritual growth, cleanses and energizes the aura, draws away negative energy, disease, and letting go of the past. Use, use bag to store stone or recycle into a charm bag. See the color reference insert for inspiration. And we've read the insert. Then we have worry dolls, also known as trouble dolls, are tiny colorful dolls that you whisper your worries to before you go to bed, allowing them to do your worrying for you while you sleep. Can be used nightly, comes with bag. Candle spell book of shadows page. The insert is included so you can see why I chose the color for the this month's box, but also how to work with the color in your magical workings. This is a great addition to include in your book of shadows for quick reference when incorporating color magic into your spell work. Although extensive energy is used in magically creating, spelling, and charging all of these items, they can be used as is and still be effective. Please take your time to align your intent and energy with these items before use. For a strong, more personal connection, the basis of all magic is your intent. You should always follow your intuition and spell work. If you feel guided to add, take away, or use differently than intended, follow your intuition. So that was our sacred Isian box for this month. Um, this will be my last sacred Isian box. Um, I, don't get me wrong, I like them. Um, if I get it again, I will not be getting the Sacred Apprentice box. I would be getting the more advanced box. But, um, right now things are really, really tight in the house. And I could not keep all the boxes, so... Sacred Isium got cut, and I skipped my Mindful Souls box this month. So, that's why you have not seen a Mindful Souls unboxing. And this is why you probably will not get to see any more Sacred Isium Apprentice boxes unboxing. Um, after the new year, I am looking at uh, a Sacred Space Crate or um, the Witch's Box. I'm not sure which one, but, um, yeah. Okay, so this was a um, great box. Great for worry and stress. I really like it. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, I'm doing the Christmas card exchange. My email is going to be in the box below, and you can email me. Also, there is the Christmas giveaway. You send me a Christmas card, I enter you in the Christmas giveaway, and um, I will send you a Christmas card back. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I love you guys, and many blessings to all of you. Bye.